Mercy does not relinquish its nourishment easily or freely. In order to survive, you must race its waves, harness its winds and fly. Fly before its waters envelop you in darkness and only your splinters remain. All strive to remain whole. To traverse the waves is to keep the ancient bonds of kin. Those who seek refuge furthest from the water build towers that reach for the clouds. And from their safe vantage, a desire grows to ascend further still. To feed their furnaces, they devour the rock and metal, turning their safety and refuge into whips, chains, guns and chimney. Certain they need never take refuge again. But from the depths, those already swallowed, those lost and chained to the waters look upwards. In surrender to the water, they lose sight of the skies forever. Their gaze is fear and anger, for they can no longer see what hunts them, what cursed them so, but they see its face everywhere. Only the Mansa do not attempt to flee from the water. They know its darkness, they calmly watch. As eternities pass, they watch and pray for equilibrium. Watch the rock crumble and the waters rise, and watch their future. Slip away. In the end, all sink in the water. The Ursi cares not. It will always take its due.